Okay, so uh, I'm just going to do a video tutorial um, on how to take this apart because uh, it seems easier to do it that way than actually send you guys pictures and uh, and type it out. So um, this is actually Craig's key. Uh, he has the RDX faceplate swap, so it looks a little different than uh, yours too, Sean. But um, <clears throat> it's going to be exactly the same way, though. Um, I recommend that you buy a very uh, a very sturdy change the screen angle a little bit a very sturdy uh, a screwdriver um, this one's called the uh, it's gonna be backwards it's the HD 74501X uh, it's made by Husky uh, I got it from Home Depot uh, it comes with comes with a couple of different sizes you want to use the you can experiment but basically you have to use one of the smallest bits uh, both are gonna be Philip uh, and one of the biggest ones uh, the smallest one is going to be a 1 16th, the biggest one is going to be a 1 8th. Okay, so you're going to take the 1 16th, and there's going to be a screw on the back. I uh, don't know if you can really see it that well. Uh, you're going to take this one off. The screw comes out like so. It needs a couple more turns. So the screw comes out. Nope. And here's the faceplate, that's separate like that, and here's the actual transmitter. This one's been modified for Craig, the trunk button's been deleted. So that's going to be one piece like this, and now it's separated like this. So the next thing you want to do is remove uh, this plate right here. Um, how you do this is there's going to be a small little, um, there's a little lock right here. Uh, there's a piece of plastic that um, it clicks in there, so you're going to have to lift up on this corner. On If the key is facing upward, it's going to be your left corner. Um, so you're going to lift that up with your thumb, and while you're pulling it, there's going to be a, a double-sized sticky tape under here. So you're going to pull, and you're going to turn counterclockwise. So you're going to pull up, turn counterclockwise a little bit, and it comes off like so. I've already removed. Uh, I've already remo removed these once, so the sticky part's not going to be quite as sticky. So it's going to be easy to easy to do. So if you look carefully at this, it's got that little click right there, um, and that clicks onto this metal base right here. So be careful that you don't break that off. So now you're going to be left with three screws to undo. So you're going to take that same one sixteenth um, one sixteenth screwdriver that you're using to remove that back screw. You're going to get the silver one first. So, there's a up close shot of that. There's three. So you're gonna take the silver one off first. And all these screws are gonna come off really easily. I put a little bit of silicone grease on there too so that um, they don't stick. They don't stick as they did before with the Loctite on there. And you're gonna go, in, once again, in, or actually in a clockwise manner. So, start with the silver, go with the black on the, on the right side. That's gonna come off like that. Now here's the tricky part on the last on the last screw. You're gonna to have to flip this key up, flip it up because the, that way the spring's not not gonna be wound up quite as much as when it's sitting down. And then you're gonna undo this. Hold down with your thumb on that metal base plate so that it doesn't spin all crazy and just uh, fly out somewhere. Okay, so that screw is loose. So I'm gonna place that onto the side. Now this is going to start spinning. You see how it's spinning? Okay. So you're going to take it off. There's going to be a little little uh, piece of the spring right here that's grabbing onto that base plate. Remove it from the hole. Slide it out. Remember the orientation. Um, so this was like this. It's facing this way. And as it was spinning, it spun counterclockwise. So it ended up like this. So when you put it back on, you're going to put it on like this put it over the knob, spin it backwards. So here's the spring. And you're going to notice that one side has a hook that goes into the, metal, into the plastic base right here. And the other side has a long um, little indentation in there too so that it doesn't slip out. But basically that part goes into that, goes back into this right here. Um, it'll look, it's hard to explain but once you see it in person you'll see how it works. So now we're going to remove this, so this key blade is separated 
from this base plate right here. It has an Acura emblem. So what you're looking for in here is the other side. So this, this side was facing up when we took it apart, and this side was facing down. This part right here holds a holds an immobilizer chip. This was originally for the TL, so uh, they have a chip in here, and this can be reprogrammed at the dealership, but um, it's not um, it's not so easily done on the RSX, so that's why you need to swap it out. Same thing with the uh, older first generation TSX. Um, the older generation up to 2006, 2004, 2006 TLs, uh, CLs, whatever. So in order to get that out, take one of these flat, um, the slotted screwdriver, stick it underneath. There's going to be a plastic cover that comes off. Rip it off. There's a little bit of Honda bond on here. So it's it's a high temp silicone, um, uh, just like a rubber compound that holds it together. It's not very strong, but it's, it's a little gunky, so it's going to take some work in there. Once you get this lifted off, I'm not going to do it because uh, uh, you guys can just take care of it and I don't want to get the parts lost. So you're going to rip this off. After you rip that cover off, you're going to jimmy on this side, swing it back and forth a little bit. There's going to be a transmitter and once again that bond is in there so it's going to be stuck in there. Uh, just kind of pry it upwards. You might damage the side right here, the side of the plastic right here, but you can always get a plier. and uh, you can fold it back, it's malleable. Um, that's about it. And then you stick your immobilizer in there. Uh, you guys, um, let's see, Tushan, you probably drive an RSX, uh, Craig, I'm not sure what you drive, I think it was an RSX. Both of them are pill-shaped immobilizers. It's a little piece of glass. Uh, you're going to want to put it in sideways, and it's going to stick up a little bit. And, that, and you need this entire area, this entire surface area to be flush so that it swings. If it has a little bit of a bump, it's not going to swing easily. Um, so that immobilizer head that's sticking out a little, that corner needs to be shaved off. So just get a sandpaper, just shave it down, and then you can grease up the area again with some silicone grease or whatever whatever you guys want to use uh, to, once again, get that slick so that it, it, um, it'll, it'll flip out easily. Um, that's about it. Uh, make sure the immobilizer, there's a chip in, within the glass, um, glass tube. Uh, the chip is actually going to be it's going to be a wire spun, um, tiny little screw looking thing within, looks like a pellet of rice. Um, inside there, um, it's not going to be in there evenly. It's going to be, it's going to be moved one side more than the other. So make sure you uh, position it so that you're going to shave the side that where the chip is not. And there's some empty space to give you some play. So um, you can experiment. Um, email me back if you have trouble but basically that's about it um, so here we go we, uh, we're gonna put it back together real quick so this side right here with the chip is gonna be flipped downward like this it's gonna be it's gonna be in the upward position stick this in like so the spring where that little hook is and then throw this right here this little metal base plate swing it into that hole Swing it into that hole like so. Get it onto the knob. Swing it back. Place it down like that. It's gonna it's gonna be pushing back a little bit. So get your index finger and push it while you're putting in the at least one of the screws. Put in one of the screws. Screw it down. And once you get one in, it will stay in place. It's not gonna go anywhere. And then you can swing it back and it works again and you just need to put everything back together let me just throw this on real quick again same thing just doing it backwards I'm going to change screwdriver heads the smaller one okay now we got everything back together, the screws. When you put this cover back on, make sure you get it on the hook first. So start low. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. So start with this side downward like this onto the metal hook. Start low. Clicks. It clicks in place. You can hear that. Take this. There's another hook right here. This piece of plastic um, on the right side. So right above the lock button, there's going to be a little hook right here. There's going to be a hook 
on this side too. Place that on, little, put it on uh, a little sideways. You hear that click. Now st stick it back on. Put the screw in. And wind that back up. And voila. Works again. So if you guys have any trouble, just let me know. Uh, just shoot me an email um, or give me a call. Um, that works the same way too. But email is probably the best way because I'll be busy with work during the week. So that's about it. Um, good luck with this, guys, and um, hopefully you'll get these in the mail soon. Thanks.